We just finished that video for them. We're already starting the content for our- What's going on, YouTube? Was just working crazy. We had three plays. I honestly cannot wait to read this one. This one looks crazy. The last chapter, I definitely learned a lot more when it comes to- The main thing I really want to focus on today is taking consideration when it comes to gold. The big thing I want to focus on is- Our problem is, is like, oh my God, content to look beautiful and little secret, little secret. YouTube. What's going on? You guys already know the vibes. It's your boy Pip, and we're back with another video. Today it is Tuesday. It's currently 6:58, 6:59. Had some chicken Alfredo last night, and we're gonna get our day started. We already have our to-do list. If we go over here. We already have our to-do list, so we got things to do. And um, why we'll just get it started? I want to get this video going. Because the new thing that I want to start doing when it comes to making my YouTube video, I just need to get that intro done in the morning. I just need to do the content in the morning. Because if I can get my intro started at the start of the day, I can literally get all my work done as I'm progressing and not be fucking procrastinating or be lazy. So with that being said, let's get to it. Right now, we're going to go take him for a walk. And then we're going to do the charts. I might just read for a little bit because it's 7 o'clock so we can get that done going. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I come back inside. So what's going on? Just walked him back in the house. So right now, computer is off. Let's go turn this up real quick. The main thing I really want to focus on today is gold and GJ, honestly. So those are going to be the main pairs I'm looking at. In my Telegram video that I sent yesterday, I did send a trade on Nas, so I just want to be patient on that one. And I was in a GJ cell last night, if you guys was watching the video. I was, I got in before confirmation, so it wasn't like it was a set in stone plan. I was just getting ready to scale in on the trade. I had entries around 740. My stop loss was 9, uh, 192, 940. You see how price came to literally tap me and came all the way back up. That shit is actually frustrating as fuck. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I hate when price taps me and it comes all the way back up because it lets me know I wasn't wrong, but I I just had bad positioning, you know? I, that's just one thing I just don't like. But yeah, with this right now, we're gonna, I'm gonna go drop them a small video because it makes sense to do it right now. Get them a good idea of what I'm looking at for the day. Show them the same plays just in case they weren't watching. And, um... It's 7 o'clock, so I'm just going to get the house a little bit clean, start washing dishes. I'm going to try and get the to-do list done early. So before I just start sitting down and trying to plan to do content or play games on my phone and shit, I need to get shit done. And, yeah, literally, it's 7 o'clock. We got an hour before the market start. I got work to do. So I'm going to send this video so y'all little clips, and we'll be back. So, taking consideration, when it comes to gold, the big thing I want to focus on is that if we was to go on to the 4-hour and we was to use the FIB, we can take it from the, well, first we have to change the day breaks instead of the weekly. Highest point to price's lowest point before the market closed. And around that, you can clearly see where prices came. We actually did end up hitting the negative 2.7 off of market open. Price top this level, we actually end up leaving a higher low, not a lower low in the market. I want to see how high price can go bullish because let's turn this fib off real quick and let's go to the weekly time frame fib so we can get a higher time frame analysis within the fib. It's actually putting itself in a position that one, it is ranging, and two, it has failed to break under 0.236 area as you guys can see in the video. So just finished that video for them. We're already starting the content for our vlog today. We're trying to be way more organized when it comes to setting this stuff up so it's a lot easier. And we're gonna start reading our book. Let's start reading the book of power. It's only 7.36 and we wanna do 30 minutes a day. So we're gonna split it up to like 15 minutes each. So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all when I'm reading and then I'm gonna give y'all a little quote in the book. If I fuck with it, I fuck with it. Oh, no, no, no. We just finished reading. We just finished reading chapter 20. And now we're on 21. This chapter definitely looks exciting. And the last chapter, I definitely learned a lot more when it comes to self-control and understanding how to control your emotions. 
because you have to put yourself in a position to gain more independence. It's better to have control in your own ideas and your and yourself, like just understanding that your goals, your dreams are worthy. You don't need to always ally with people or be committed to a system. That whole time a system can turn on you and put you in a bad position. It's good to gain independence because, like, for example, one thing they said in the book was George Washington, when George Washington first came into the United States, his goal wasn't to ally, like ally with France or Europe. His goal was to establish independence because he knew in the long run, Europe, all these other countries, they would have to respect the United States as a real power. Instead, it, instead of going the short term route and getting a peace treaty with them, because over time you would have seen that that respect would have been lost knowing that they needed a treaty to stay in power. So if, if that makes sense, that's kind of how the that whole chapter is just explaining that mindset to you. I honestly cannot wait to read this one. This one looks crazy. Law 21, play a sucker to catch a sucker. Seem dumber than your mark. Judgment. No one likes feeling stupider than the next person. The trick then is to make your victims feel smart and not just smart, but smarter than you are. Once convinced of this, they will never suspect that you may have ulterior motives. Hmm. What's going on, YouTube? Was just working crazy. We had three plays that I made in that video. Started this trade. So we've just been watching them. So one thing I also want to tell you guys is that get some more chart plays going for everyone. And the three plays you guys should know if on the other videos, Gold, Naz, and we had GJ. We were trying to trade USD Chief, but USD Chief isn't really looking too sexy. Could have caught this lower, this higher area, but I wasn't really looking at this trade. And you can already see, price isn't even doing what it wants to do. But with Nas, I'm loving how Nas looks. I was in this trade, I was seeing price come down. I was like, oh my god, because it didn't really tap the area, but it really did come in the zone. That's one thing about support resistance. It's not about a specific price; it's actually an area. So I just took in consideration that yes, we made a higher low. We're making higher lows. And I just wanted to see price repeat this and break above here. If we can break above here and stay, this is going to be really good for our bullish indication for us to continue for buys. If price ends up teetering back under, we see price retesting. We can put our stop loss in profit, but it doesn't mean that price will be invalidated. It just means we're going to wait a little bit longer. Then with gold that we got in, we have the gold sell from up here. As soon as price came into this area, it immediately started falling. You got, um, I'm going to tell the chat they could take sells under here too, just because we have good indication that we can continue. But it is, it is just a little bit more risky on that side. So they should have gotten in on this one. And then with GJ, GJ, if you guys remember, I had buy positions a little bit around like 740. And then price literally hit my stop loss on the early entries I had. And then came back above. So once price broke above that um, alert that I had in the last video, that's when I got in. And then now I'm just potentially waiting. So now these are the three trades that I'm in. All right, yo, yo. All right, so we did a we did a good amount. We still need to read again because we did 15 minutes. So I think I'm just gonna fix that and just do read 15 minutes in the day, then read 15 minutes at night, and then we could do another 15 minutes in the middle. So that's like 45 minutes in the day. They got like that. And then we still have to go. Walk up on that hill, hit that treadmill, save your money, you know, you know, niggas gotta save their bread, bro, you know me, bro, I like to spend, bro, I be buying, I be buying fucking, my problem is, it's like, oh my god, oh shit, look at that, oh shit, oh shit, that's crazy, that's crazy, that be smoothed, that be smoothed, uh, oh. I need to send that to the chat. I need to send that to the chat, bro. Hold on. Damn. Damn. Oh, I just dropped it. I didn't know what to say. I just had to say fire because I had to, I got, I got, I got this in my head. I got this in my head. It's just crazy, bro. Like Trey going crazy. W Trey, W Trey. Yeah, like I was saying. <laughs> um, shit. If I can get this quality going good. We're gonna, we need to make two reels. That's what we're about to do right now. And then we're gonna redo our whole WAP. And the reason why I say redo our whole WAP is just cause I just wanna make it look more professional. This is a business, so let's update my WAP. My WAP is my business. Even though this is free content, eventually when I start selling things, I want to have it prepared. And I want my free content to look beautiful. And a little secret, a little secret. Oh, so your boy, your boy might be dropping a course on the WAP. What? Comes to the to do, the to do list. Seven oh nine. We've completed everything except for redo our whole WAP. We kind of want to take our time with it, and I wanted it to be the last thing we do, so we can really 
have full flow when it comes to creating this because i really want to redo everything and make sure it looks clean but other than that we did this i wanted to show you guys some recaps on the plays that i had taken today so when it comes to the three plays it's gold naz and gj with naz you guys can already see i had entered off of a higher low momentum and i continued to ride the wave not only was a higher low momentum it was a breakout on a zone that i seen price was bullish last time that created this high before so i wanted to respect that price because price has showed multiple times that we are bullish above this zone so that was one play next play was gj we had buys under here i'm just showing buys up here because the buys really didn't take off so coming into london session the next play that i am looking for since you guys get to see a little sauce i'm looking for price to stay back above here show some support which it already is and continue back above right now we're in asian session so i am going to wait a little bit for london session i'm not really an asian trader I don't really care for that. And then when it comes to gold, with gold, we had a beautiful sell-off. Price is in a position where it's pulling back. And I did make a small video in my Telegram where I want to see price pull back to, to hop in re-entries if, if people potentially missed this entry up here. So if you guys want to see that play, join the Telegram. And you guys already know the vibes. Let's get back to the video. Uh, what's going on, chat? You guys already know the vibes. It's currently 7 o'clock right now. I've already took a walk. I uh, tried to bring my fucking phone, but I literally forgot my phone. It was just in a rush to take him on the walk. And then when I went to the gym, it was actually mad people at the gym, so I really couldn't even put up the camera and stuff. So we actually had a good day, good productive. My back actually was killing me something crazy, but we still went and we still locked in anyways, and we're going to be doing the same thing tomorrow. Today, the video is pretty much over. Um, I don't really have nothing Content-wise, like when it comes to trading, to show you guys, I want to show you guys a day in my life. I want you guys to join the Telegram and be a part of the plays that I drop all the time. Other than that, when it comes to motivation, I really want you guys to understand that you guys can do this. It takes time. It's all about practice, and it's all about understanding once you build a system and a routine for yourself, it's going to move a lot smoother, and you're going to feel a lot more organized when you're doing this work every day. Because I know it can feel like when you're starting to put yourself in a position like two, three weeks in, and you're not seeing what you want, and it's starting to cram down on you because you're feeling like it's hard work. But if you actually make a routine and organize it, it doesn't become hard work for you. It becomes a lifestyle. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy Pip. Join the Telegram. Hit the Sway link. Just follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next daily video. Peace. Michi, give me paw. It's for the YouTube video. Give me paw. Thank you. Good man. Good man. Bye.
One day I'ma run away with my gut feeling, then take it to the bank. One day I'ma run away with my dream, bitch, then take it to the paint. Life ain't getting no more easy, I'm just trying to get away.